Hey guys, real quick before today's video, I'm sure you've already seen it by now, but Clash Royale's Twitter has been teasing us and teasing us with what looks like the Electro Dragon confirmed-ish, kinda? I mean, what else could it be? I'm a big fan. Out of the three leaked cards, this was by far my favorite. What do you guys think it's going to be like? What rarity? How much is it gonna cost? We don't know a lot, but we do know the ability from Clash of Clans. I did a full news video talking about what could potentially be the new card and talking about the timeline on its release if you guys want to check that out in the description below but just wanted to update you with these images it seems like we're gonna be seeing the electro dragon in game potentially this week or this coming weekend so guys without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the main video. slide on a pimp gang with my pinky ring a lot of gang a lot of in the ice hey chain. guys, what's Are going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale, and I'm hopping right into the game right now because Toby Spearhawk is joining me right now. He's already inside a live match. We're doing a live ladder episode for you guys, and I let me just let me just throw it out there, guys. I was wrong, apparently, about Goblin Giant. I said that it needed a buff yesterday. I was wrong about a lot of things in yesterday's video. If you want to go ahead and watch it, it was one of my most disliked videos ever. And that happens when you tend to put out uh, balanced opinion videos. But let me just throw it out there, guys. The, 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 the fun thing about that for me is that I love just throwing my opinion out there. And if I'm wrong in hindsight, I'm wrong, you know? And I love listening to your feedback. So. Hindsight being 2020, I was wrong about nerfing all the spells, uh, damage to towers. You guys brought up a, a million great points of why that's a bad idea. And I was wrong about the Goblin Giant, apparently. In the tournament, the 10k tournament filled with pros that I hosted today, three of the top 10 decks had Goblin Giant in it, all comboed with Sparky. Now I saw this deck, I want to give a huge shout out, I saw this being played, it's being played live here as I mentioned by Toby Spirithawk going against Wen Som uh, against a Golem deck, which this deck really shines against Golem decks, so this should be a fun match. Uh, but I saw this deck shared on Chief Pat's channel and also Clash Rashane, two amazing YouTubers, I'll include their channel links uh, and maybe links to those videos in the description below if you want to check out those guys. Uh, but I, I was skeptical, I was like, ah, oh, okay, like it's an interesting deck, but but not for me, you know, but then I saw it. I watched people play this deck live including Toby Which he finished fourth or fifth in the tournament using this deck and I was like man This is really good and it's really good not despite the goblin giant But actually he complements this deck very very well And I'm gonna show you guys hopefully through the course of these live ladder matches exactly what I mean by that so without further ado well we're already what? We're already 135 seconds into this match about. And uh, what I want to go ahead and, and hopefully Toby can rattle off some nice wins here. He is currently at 6,200 trophies or just around that. So we'll see if he can rattle off a few wins. He's currently, I want to say, around 300 in the world uh, as we are live right now. So here we go. 28 HP remaining on that right tower. Looks like this one might be a big... Ooh, the Sparky comes down maybe a little bit late there. You can see that uh, Toby already also used his zap there to retarget that baby dragon he gives the good game but he's gonna have to use a fireball against that right tower it's not good game yet toby and he gives the ooze because he knows he called this one way too early ladies and gentlemen and i would actually maybe give the advantage here in double elixir time to when we'll see what he does here so a night witch in the left lane he kind of uh, baits out that sparky in the left and then he goes right with the golem here so toby's gonna play into that Night Witch, but he can't really use too much more Elixir, I don't think. He has to defend this Golem. That's exactly what he does here with the Mega Minion, and the Lumberjack comes down. He has Spear Goblins going to go ahead and distract that Lumberjack for a little bit of time. He's able to cycle to another Sparky to play defense, and then he connects with the Sparky on offense. That was a huge connection there on offense, and you're going to be playing this deck, guys, just like you would a normal Sparky deck. Now, you might not be a big Sparky user. You might not be a big goblin giant user first off if you don't have goblin giant leveled up just go ahead and sub in the regular giant it can sub in and do a fine job in this deck but you're gonna see the versatility of the goblin giant especially on defense if we run into any 
graveyard decks, which is really everywhere at top ladder. Another connection on that King Tower with Sparky, by the way, as we approach one minute into overtime. He needs to defend here, and he has this match in the bag. That's going to be easier said than done. And Nato from Wen pulling that Sparky away. He's going to get the Golem death damage. Is he going to get that Mega Minion? No. Nice bats there by Toby Spirit Hawk intercepting that Mega Minion. Now things are looking much better now that he's defended that last push there with a Golem in the pocket. He's going to take, not take down that Night Witch, but is he going to go for the three crown here? It looks like he's probably going to go for it. He has the Goblin Giant placed. Again, Goblin Giant, tremendous value against air troops like that Baby Dragon, along with those Spear Goblins. Uh, they're, the Spear Goblins on the Goblin Giant back, obviously, guys this, guys, this is not new news, but they're invincible. They're invulnerable to all damage. They cannot be targeted. And uh, very nice victory there by Toby. I told him to just keep going into the next matches, so we'll see if he finds one uh, here. So... Guys, basically, yeah, the Spirit Goblins really help out because a lot of people use Bats or Minions or Mega Minion, Baby Dragon to counter Sparky. And there we go. We're already into the next match here, guys. So Sparky's weak spot is that you ha always have to combo that giant in the Sparky with some sort of air support, you know? But this deck has that a little bit built in with those Spirit Goblins. That's just one of the reasons why it synergizes so well. Another reason is... When you play Sparky, oftentimes you're going to be playing Sparky behind your King Tower. Now with a Giant, oftentimes you're going to be playing your Giant behind the King Tower too. The Goblin Giant has more versatility when played at the bridge, uh, in my opinion. And it has more versatility on defense because those Spear Goblins can help out against Graveyard and Swarm units. And then third, and, and certainly not least... The, uh, the Goblin Giant is great at kiting because those Spirit Goblins are targeting whatever units you're kiting with at the same time. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of versatility, sneaky, kind of low-key versatility in the Goblin Giant that we don't necessarily see uh, in the Giant. So early on here, we are up uh, in the damage here. And it looks like Royal Coast is actually going to get to this tower, really getting a lot of damage despite the activated King Tower there as well. So about a minute 15 or so, a minute 20 into this match, Toby has the damage lead. Let's see how he plays this here. I haven't been counting the elixir, so I'm not sure if he's in the elixir lead. But as we approach 9 elixir, it looks like that is the case here. Or at least things are even. So there it is, Sparky behind the King Tower. And an aggressive opposite lane push here with just the cannon cart. I, I take it back. It wasn't that aggressive. I thought it might be the graveyard coming down as well. But it looks like they want to save some elixir to defend against what will be a big big goblin giant sparky push in the left lane let's see how toby kind of uh supports this push here so again that tombstone check it out spirit goblins helping out against those skeletons again seeing the utility of those spirit goblins and we're gonna get that royal giant to the tower that's gonna be even more damage the spirit goblins spawned by the goblin giant also helping out against that left tower taking it down to 499 in toby's towers have barely been touched here ladies and gentlemen and again toby this time is ready for that cannon car a beautiful defensive sequence here so far for toby that those spirit goblins again helping out against that cannon cart he zaps and royal ghosts against the skeletons and that is just this deck against graveyard is incredibly versatile it's 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 really really strong as you're seeing here and at this point in the match of course toby's last card is fireball he can really essentially fireball cycle out if he wants here he just needs to play smart defense not let the opponent get incredibly lucrative graveyard push against him in that right lane and we called it there there's the first fireball taking that tower down to 109 all we have to do i have to do here guys we know he's going to go in with an aggressive graveyard we just need to cycle basically four cards to get that fireball back in our hands so here it goes mega minion royal ghost spear goblins zap was used fireballs in hand there it goes boom down to an O. Are you a believer yet? Maybe? Not really? Well, we'll see if you can win the third match here. We'll probably do four matches in today's video. Do you think that's a good number? I don't know. I kind of... I go back and forth whether I should just make these incredibly long and just go through a ton and we're already in the next one. Sweet! No editing today. 
Yeah, I go back and forth if I should make these videos really long or if I should keep them, you know, at, at around 20 minutes or so, which I've been trying to do in the past. Again, guys, your feedback always, uh, always welcome on that question. So here we go. It's going to be a, uh, a little bit of damage against that Mega Minion there as we open up with Spear Goblins at the bridge. Now, opening plays, starting plays with this deck, always a great idea to use the Spear Goblins at the bridge. You want to bait out the opponent's zap or at least... Uh, you know, even if you get the chip damage, that's cool too, right? So it's a great opening play with this deck if you have them to use Spear Goblins at the bridge. Now, what if you don't have Spear Goblins? Well, you can go ahead and Royal Ghost behind your King Tower, or you can wait for the opponent to make their first move. Me, personally, I'm not a huge fan of starting out with, say, Bat Cycled behind my King Tower, especially not in a deck like this. You really can't combo it with anything aggressive at the bridge, so essentially, you're just throwing away two Elixir. Not what I want to do in my gameplay here. So here we go, using Spear Goblins again to finish off that Knight, and it looks like the opponent is playing some version of a Graveyard deck, I want to say. I mean, they have the Baby Dragon, they have Archers, Knight, Tombstone. It's got to be Graveyard, right, guys? Either way, you don't see Archers a lot in this deck, so it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But we're going to assume Graveyard until they show us otherwise. So we get a little bit of damage with a connection with the Royal Ghost on the Tombstone there. And we're going to reload with a Sparky in the left lane. There's the Graveyard. And it's going to be... Oh, what's better? Oh, with the Freeze! The Graveyard Freeze! Man, that is off meta. But the Spear Goblin's doing a good job. Sparky is almost dead there. As Sparky does die, we use Zap there to kind of mitigate the damage. Try to keep Sparky alive. Toby gives the well played. This is going to be kind of a difficult matchup. Now, normally, this deck is really, really good against all graveyard matchups because the Goblin Giant is really good against graveyard, and you can combo the Goblin Giant. You see, you notice the spacing there? It's really important and probably something I should talk about more here on the channel. But the spacing of the Goblin Giant spaced away from the Spear Goblins. You saw the Spear Goblins way in the lower left and the Goblin Giant placed in a different location. That's going to avoid them both being frozen. Also avoid poison. Let's see how he defends this. Taking a lot of damage already. He uses his zap there. He cycles to his bats. But he's taking a lot of damage from these pushes. And, and that's the thing about Freeze is, you know, the Spear Goblins from the Goblin Giant not going to do you any favors when uh, your opponent has Freeze. Neither is the bats or the Spirit Goblins are all the things that make this deck really strong against Graveyard normally. I don't know about Freeze, guys. I mean, some people say it's broken on Ladder. I think it's definitely borderline. It's, it's definitely one of the most underrated spells, in my opinion, because even if you're a, a, not a better player than your opponent, I think that Freeze can definitely tilt things into your favor. Do you guys agree with me there? You know, like... I could be facing a really good player, but all it takes is one really nice freeze, and that's it. Y you win. GG. Because as long as they drop enough elixir and you freeze it up, and, and you can capitalize with a graveyard on the tower, that can really uh, give you the victory. So here we go. A big push and a defensive freeze. Man, this is just so annoying, but this push might work out here. We have another Goblin Giant ready. The Spirit Goblins again from that Goblin Giant, taking down that Mega Minion, now helping out against that Baby Dragon. Are we going to be able to get to the tower? Are they going to use Freeze again obnoxiously? We'll see. We have a Mega... Oh, it happened again! I thought we were going to connect there with the Sparky on the left tower, but everything is frozen, including the Royal Ghost. This is going to be a tough push here. I bet he's going to Fireball. There's the Fireball, but Graveyard is down. Bats are down, and that's a well-played. Probably a GG here, guys. I don't know. No, a good defense, but 5 23 HP remaining on his left tower, guys. Not looking so hot in this third match. So much for an undefeated ladder video, but it's not over yet. But it's so difficult with that freeze. I mean, the opponent here can just continue to freeze on defense if they want to and just take care of all those troops. Here they do it on offense. And that might be that might be the end of it here. Zap has been used by Toby. Uh poison is down. I think that's 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 GG. There it is, the white flag from the opponent, and that's a good game. Uh, not much Toby could have done in that matchup there. That's a really annoying deck, and also a really effective one too, guys. So maybe give that freeze deck a try, if that's your thing. So let's go ahead and wait for the next match, and here we are. Let's go ahead and hop in. This will probably be the, uh, the final match of the video. Sorry, again, I don't know what it is with my iPad. I mentioned that last video too, but like... I, I tap it, I tap it, I tap it, I tap the eyeball, and it's not working out. Anyway, here we go. Log comes down along with the Hog Rider. Uh, Hog Rider Log, it could be uh, 2.6, maybe. 
uh, just being that aggressive at the start, it tells me it, it might be 2.6 for max pro gamer here. And we play a Sparky in the back knowing that the win condition is out of cycle, out of hand. That's a good time. Sometimes people ask me, when's the good time to play Sparky? When do you reload versus just kind of cycle? Well, the number one indicator of that is going to be when is your opponent's win condition out of hand? And that goes with a lot of different archetypes, not just Sparky. Even if you're playing a giant deck, when's a good time to drop your giant behind your king tower? when the opponent's win condition is out of hand, so they can't punish you immediately. And we're not gonna lock on, ooh, that zap there by Toby, trying to get that Sparky to lock onto the tower and retarget the tower onto the bats, does not pay off there. Max Pro Gamer gives a thumbs up here. I wonder who that is. I think I've seen the name before a few times, Max Pro Gamer, I'm not sure who it is though. Anyway, I wonder how the Electro Dragon will fit in a deck like this, if it indeed is the card. I'll probably tease it in the intro today, as Clash Royale has been teasing us, but I think it's safe to say the Electro Dragon is going to be the card coming to the game. I'm excited for it, guys. I mean, sure, it is borrowed from Clash of Clans, and it's, you know, I'm sure some people will comment, oh, it's so unoriginal, blah, 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 but... I guess I'm a big fan of dragons. I don't know what it is, but I always get excited about a new dragon card. So be sure to keep an eye on my channel because I will share uh, gameplay. Whatever the new card is, I will share gameplay as soon as possible. Hopefully they give us access to sneak peeks for the new card again. So if they do, uh, you know, subscribe, whatever, and uh, turn on the, the bell notifications and uh, I'll have that to you as soon as possible. So here we go into uh, double elixir time. I would give Toby the advantage here as we enter into double elixir time and there's ooh the predictive fireball misses I i'm sure the opponent thought they were going to run into bats there against that hog either way it's actually not that big of a mistake because with 2.6 hog cycle you know you can essentially just cycle fireballs at, at, at one point into the match only 37 35 seconds left here misses that ice spirit with the fireball there does toby things aren't looking so great but all it takes is one big push, again, from Toby to pull off this victory there. But the one downside to the deck is we don't have, uh, you know, anything to... We don't have a NATO or anything like that to, to pull the hog away from the tower. So we really just have to overload the lane here and prevent that hog from getting to the tower just by placing a bunch of Sparkies and high DPS units in that right lane to kind of clog it up, right? So here it goes. Fireball down. Is he going to zap that musky too? He does. That's going to get the Goblin Giant to... No? Mistaken. But the Spirit Goblins are on the tower. They're going to do a couple hundred damage. So things are pretty neck and neck here as we're about 10 seconds into Sudden Death Overtime. Sparky in the back again. Are they going to Fireball again? That's the question. I, I think... I don't know. I think I would if I was the opponent. I would. And, and he does. I think that's the right decision there. And a log comes down too. Now we might be pushing it. But still, they can cycle back to another Fireball for the Sparky here. So I think that... Ooh! Ooh, they fireball the King Tower! Oh, I think that was a mistake, guys. We'll see. Sparky with, like, one HP left. I don't think it matters. We get to the tower. That's a GG for Toby. Man, if they didn't fireball the, the tower there, an over-aggressive play by the opponent, they probably would have had that match, guys, if they just fireballed the Sparky and all the Swarm Troops again. Either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. A huge shout-out to Toby Spirit Hawk, who's a streamer and a YouTuber. I'll link all his information and his stats thanks to StatsRoyale.com in the description below. Also, a huge shout-out to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. Check out his information as well. Again, guys, the deck link will be in the description below. Give the deck a try. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.